One minute and 11 seconds of logos. One minute and 11 seconds of logos. Do you know how long that is? It's one minute and 11 seconds. Let's do things differently this time. Can we not? That last movie ruled, so can't we just keep all the good stuff, like the music and the funky animation, and maybe just do less of the expositional character bot? His name is Miles Morales. Or maybe I could just go f myself. You think you know the rest. You don't. Well, of course we fucking don't. And I never said I did. You said I did. That's like me saying, you think you like rocks in your washing machine, but you don't. It's easy to correct me when you're making up shit I didn't say. In case you confused it with Chelsea, Missouri on Earth 69. I didn't join a band so I could talk about my feelings. That's feelingist. I joined it so I could hit my feelings with sticks. That's stickist. In this line of work, you always wind up a solo act. Don't hate on solo acts so quickly, Gwen. You can make more money. All the pretzels in the green room are for you. And, um, did I mention the pretzels already? This five second sequence has more animated stills than I can count. And each one is worthy of its own f***ing video essay. I don't care if they're hand drawn or CGI or a figment of my imagination. It's almost a sin that they go by so fast you can barely appreciate them. Touch him again, Ned. Ned? F***ing Ned. You assholes expect me to believe there's a universe where Ned, I'm looking at porn leads, is a bully? Shame on you. Naturally, Gwen's father just happens to be the first cop on the scene for maximum I hate Spider-Woman for killing my daughter's best friend drama potential. It won't bring him back. I don't want to argue about this. Allow me to help. Skip. Suspect hey, this is could Adrian be it. Tombs, also known so, as the I uh, This dispatcher mentions the vulture, but fails to mention the most striking update that he also appears to be origami-based. This is a terrible place to hide your super suit. I know parents aren't supposed to snoop, but surprise kids, they totally do. And pro tip, the drum kit is the first place they will look for drugs after. No, it's literally the first place they'll look. Vulture! Screaming their name usually works. Ah! I guess that worked. This works. Oh no. What was Gwen's plan if Oscar Spidey Zack didn't show up? Either she's just resigned herself to a new face or she knew a Spidey ex machina was on the way. Also, these portals have been presented as an orange vortex, which leads to a tunnel. We never see through the other side like a doorway. So how did Miguel manage to pull this off with such perfect accuracy if he can't see where he's going? We saved the multiverse. You left a hole wide enough for guys like him to randomly get shot into the wrong dimension. But if dealing with multiversal shenanigans is your strike team's MO, why didn't your guy deal with Kingpin's Collider instead of leaving it to Gwen and Miles. Hmm? Was it because that movie didn't want to introduce you yet? Hmm? Don't even get me started on Doctor Strange and the little nerd back on Earth 1999-99. Turns out that if you add 1999-99 to 616, you completely break the internet's understanding of something I don't care about. Por Dios, he's got hammer space! Beating. I was told there would be no math. Also, an infinite pocket dimension where you can store gadgets and weapons seems super f***ing useful. And I look forward to seeing how our heroes utilize this technology to save the day. Don't let him out! He'll disrupt the cannon! Well, that's f***ing rich coming from a Sony movie. Yeah, I think it's a Banksy. Call back, sneeze. Suspect is armed. With what? I'm I'm out of webs. Get. Gwen suffers from a case of the sudden inconveniences as she runs out of webs at the worst time possible, even though this won't happen at any other point in the movie. Ow. Which is it? Hands in the air or get down on the You're ground? Believing that it's impossible to get down on the ground and have your hands in the air. You have the right Dad, to return. Stop! Don't get any closer. He pulls his gun on his daughter. Arresting her is one thing, but he pulls a f***ing weapon on her. How do you come back from that, Dad? 20 minutes in and you're giving us more f***ing logos? Actually, it's worse than that because these are the same logos we've already seen. Can I please glitch across the universe where this isn't a thing? In case you confused it with Brooklyn of Earth 6969. Expecting me to believe that broken teeth and pneumonia are the perfect gift for the child in your life. I'm sure he's gonna be here any minute. Spider-Man movie has a Spider-Man that can never be on time for anything because they are always spider maning around the city cliche. Game over. Why would this checkout display say game over? That's ominous as f***. Was Jigsaw in this place? Okay, if just Count GLaDOS was really thinking with portals, he'd realize that once he knows the location of the ATM, he can create the entry portal wherever he wants, as long as it exits inside the ATM. He could make the portal outside, have it appear inside the machine, and then help himself. Or, you know, do this to a f***ing bank. Hey, who left this ATM on the sidewalk? One, it's on the road, not on the sidewalk. Two, look where you're f***ing walking, asshole. And three, asking this question instead of, hey, why is only 20% of an ATM poking out of the road through a black ink stain? That's f***ing weird, isn't it? Why do people say ATM machine? Miles would be the MVP player at acronym since. Okay, let's do this one last time. My name is Miles Morales. Don't make promises you can't keep, movie. 
I guess off the Jeopardy. This sin is for our world or any world, no longer having the beautiful presence of one Mr. Alex Trebek. But Miles probably was still better than Ken Jennings. No, oh, that's too easy a task. I'm still sitting this. My mustache came in and out. I made another mistake. Being forced to make a public apology for your choice to wear a glorious lip warmer. You rock that snot catcher any way you want, Goose. We love, love you and accept you. you. I know this is a daydream, but where the f did that sofa go? Having an art book that doubles as a stalker book. I miss my uncle sometimes, even though he turned out to be the prowler. Previously on Spider-Man Into the Exposition Verse. Ah, in a minute. Hey, ah, wrote it all as one word. That's cute, right? The youth. Well, at least you can make sense of his message. Took your ass three attempts to spell important. Your costume's too tight in the back, by the way. Costume shaming. I'm not your guy in the chair. Trying to make a popular turn of phrase from another Spider-Man movie work in your Spider-Man movie. There are so many f***ing comics to adapt here. Why are we choosing to make these kind of callbacks instead of adapting some fresh material? No one f***ing sees this. When Miles and his dad were texting earlier, it was 8.16, but the clock in this office now says 10 15 and i'm not buying that these three were willing to sit here for two hours no one loves a kid that much all units super villain event i gotta go to what you're gonna leave to he's not leaving to cut to mets game rio he's responding to an all units call from the fucking police which as a police officer he kind of has an obligation to respond to immediately weird i don't know i'm on the pta you know how many limit bars i gotta break for that I feel like soon-to-be Captain Morales had been looking hard for a moment to brag about how many lemon bars he had to make for the PTA. Also, lemon bars. Ah! Under control. Soon-to-be Captain Morales survives this. Yeah, I'm kinda in the middle of something. Then why did you pick up your phone? You really don't remember what you did to me? Spot's mad at Miles for getting something that he couldn't possibly have known in the first place, and that is a thin premise for your multi-movie spanning Big Bad. I ran a test on this collider that brought a spider here from another dimension. My spider made you Spider-Man. Spot continues to be mad at Miles for sh that he had little to no control over. It's not like the spider introduced itself and said, oh, hey, Miles, some nerd brought me here from another dimension. Do you mind if I bite you instead of him? I just don't want to lose him, you know? My mom lost me in a Best Buy once. Naturally, I found my way to all the TVs and they were playing like 10 different animated movies at once. And I realized that all of them had the same old parent is afraid to let go of their kid storyline. And that's when it occurred to me how overdone and tedious it is. My mom eventually found me mid meltdown and told me to chill out and stop swearing at all the TVs because it's not worth getting worked up about. I don't know what the moral is, but I sure am fed up with those scenes. And catch that holes guy. Asking someone else to do your job for you. I think I kicked myself into myself. Just gonna ding this on behalf of all the scientists and philosophers who are spinning so hard in their graves that they could become particle accelerators themselves at any minute. Hypothesis. I'm going to put my head in that hole. That is not a hypothesis. That is a hypotha dumbass idea, Isis. Wait, why is everyone in this universe tiny? I get that Lego pieces are tiny compared to us, but why wouldn't they just be regular sized in their own universe? Even though we've had our ups and downs. Does he have to do this as Spider-Man? Okay, there's nothing explicitly saying who this cake is for, but there are only so many congrats on your promotion parties happening in Brooklyn. And I think he's leaving enough clues that this cake lady could have a convincing origin story right here. Did you even see the cakes? There's some heartfelt messages on them. Predictably, the cakes were completely ruined by his journey over here. But what the f was this supposed to have spelled in the first place for it to end up like this? You're grounded. Yay, after some exciting and totally not cliche parental drama, the superhero is grounded. This is super interesting, and I'm sure he'll be conflicted for all of three seconds before deciding to unground himself and make this all moot. When is bold to drop in unannounced on a 15-year-old in his bedroom? Or maybe it was deliberate and she's a much bigger creep than we realized. Okay, so there's this lady, Jess Drew. Uh -huh. The idea that they could hear each other enough to have a casual conversation while swinging high above a busy and loud city is all the bullshit. A vampire good guy. I'd pay good money to see that. Sony still desperately is trying to manufacture some goodwill for Morbius. Morbius is never going to be a thing. Stop trying to make Morbius a thing. Keep the chain. You're going to need it for the dry cleaning bill. Sitting in a position where all the blood flows to your head and you increase the chances of passing out and falling to your death. In every other universe, Gwen Stacy falls for Spider-Man. And in every other universe, it doesn't end well. Every? Every? This is one thing I wish multiverse movies would stop peddling. It's the, this event happens in every universe, no matter what nonsense. The whole point of multiverses is that every possible thing that could happen does happen somewhere. It's already wild that so many Gwen and Peters are out there, but it's even crazier still that she can confidently say that they all end badly, as if the multiverse gives a shit about ruining the lives of these two people specifically. Miles is far too confident that none of the, what looks like 7,000 people up here, including his parents, will see this. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Miles. All right. It's, uh, it's really Jeez. delicate. 
sorry. No apology needed, Gwen. This asshole just started pressing random buttons on an interdimensional stabilizing bracelet doohickey like it was a fucking bop it. This is on him. I um hope I didn't ice your game, man. No one my age says those words in that order, mom. Yeah, mom, what the kids really say is, man, I just hope I game you, didn't I? You have to promise to take care of that little boy for me. Make sure he never forgets where he came from and he never doubts that he is loved. How could any of us possibly doubt that when the movie has spent the first billion minutes of its trillion minute runtime beating us to death with family woes? All this movie has been about so far is feelings and parents and feelings and parents and feelings and parents and blah. Miles just leaves his jacket, shirt, and shoes on these random fire escapes. And how is that practical? This random guy standing in the dark with a dog and a camera ready to snap a picture in case Spider-Man happens to show up. Gwen's spidey sense, or Gwenny Gurgle, doesn't detect Miles sneaking up behind her. I mean, it's hard to send something that hasn't been fully explained, but see if that stops me. All right, this is gonna work. Or vaporize me and everything in this building. Being okay with these odds. Replay complete. No, why, 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 why? Gwen is pissed because she was supposed to stop full body Rorschach, but was busy with Miles instead. A problem that could have been prevented if the spider drone thing had been designed to alert her when Mr. Blobby arrived, instead of just being a better late than useful exposition droid. Did you go see your little friend? What? No. Miles? I mean... Are you kidding me right now? Wait, Jess knew this was a possibility? If she knew this was Miles' universe and that Gwen has a history with him and that Miles f***s up the multiverse, why send Gwen and put temptation in her way? We'll find out there are hundreds, if not thousands, of spider people to choose from. There's no way she's the only option here. Luckily for Miles, this portal will stay open exactly long enough for him to ponder whether or not he should follow Gwen into it. In case you confused it with Earth 5169, Mumbatton. That looks good. Spot can literally kick himself into himself, and I'm supposed to believe he still has a working digestive system in there. And this is where the British stole all of our stuff! The British! Stand back! I've been working on something new! And it just happens to be perfect for this exact situation that I couldn't have possibly predicted. It's English for we get along great and we're close friends! Saying something is English for, but then the explanation that comes after the for is also in English. Alright, my name's Ob Ob Brown. I was bitten by a... What did you like to know? Yeah, man. You sound like you're an amalgamation of every British stereotype ever, as long as that stereotype means you're from London. I'm gonna show you my secret identity. Come out of here. But you just told us your name, right? I don't believe in teams. Aren't you in a band? I don't believe in consistency. Yeah, but if you consistently don't believe in consistency, then that means you're being consistent about something, right? Why are they all holding on to the same bit of string? Gwen single-handedly webbed a falling helicopter, and you're all about to do the same to an entire building. This is the best plan you had to stop Spotted Dick? Sure, it looks cool, but do you really have time for posing when an entire building is falling on hundreds of people? Bye, three. Ah! Of course, the one bus that's in danger just happens to be carrying Pavitra's girlfriend because the multiverse really does seem to be designed to torture spider people specifically. Excellent job. Yay, the day is saved! Fortunately, the only fallout from an entire f***ing building falling in a densely populated city is a crashing bus, a lost kid, and a few sideways office workers. Thank the Lord and Miller that no one else was at risk, and after a few minutes, we can go about our days. How are you even cooler under your mask? I know, right? It's so annoying. You almost want to tell Hobie to get out. Hey. Eh. Movie chooses to go partial Who Frame Roger Rabbit instead of full on Who Frame Roger Rabbit. You never go partial Who Frame Roger Rabbit. Well, you'll end up with Cool World, and no one fing wants that. A person who has lost their family spends their free time watching old home movies and feeling sad, cliche. The fate of the multiverse. You always lose me with that. You say, the fate of the multiverse, and my brain dies. Okay, which wise guy f with the multiversal timeline and gave Lord Miller an advanced copy of our script to put in this movie? Taking a crap on the establishment, I salute you. Choosing to hold a baby that is not yours, who you are fully aware just took a sh The Spider-Verse. Spider-Verse? Huh, that's stupid. It's called the Arachno-Humanoid Polymultiverse. Rotate acknowledgements! And you weren't supposed to save him. That's why Gwen tried to stop you. Bullsh**! He stopped him as much as I tried to stop myself from eating an entire party-sized bag of chips by myself last night. And every night. Alone. We break enough cannon, save enough captains, and we could lose everything. Living in a world where enduring all the trauma is a must for it to survive. This movie f***ing hates Spider-Man. Spot does it. Having your world-changing death coming at the hands of a villain as lame as Spot. Also, didn't Miles already have this life-changing event when he lost his uncle in the previous film? Why should Miles have to suffer through more than one heartbreaking relative death? That's f***ed up. When does it happen? In two days, when he's sworn in. That's 
what the model says. A model that couldn't help you prevent Miles from doing any of the shit he's done so far and all the shit he's about to do, so maybe don't rely on it too much. You have a choice between saving one person and saving an entire world, every world. But it's more than that, right? The universe isn't just Earth. So doesn't disrupting these canon events wipe out an entire universe? And why is it always centered around Earth? Is it just tough shit for all the other planets out there? Do their actions not affect this web? Drop what you're doing and stop Spider-Man. Miles, Miles Morales. Yeah, this confusion is on you, asshole. What did you expect saying stop Spider-Man would get you? Running across here instead of web-slinging across. Does the multiverse really depend on these people? There's nowhere to run. Scene does not contain a seriously underrated Jean-Claude Van Damme film. Also, let's get this out of the way. Miles should not be able to escape. He just shouldn't. I wouldn't like his odds against five spider people, let alone the 500 or possibly even 5,000 that are chasing him here. I've got you trapped in my well-defined musculature, so don't even- Miles triggers this wrist thing to explode despite it being right next to his head, like he knew for certain it wouldn't kill him and all the spider people on him. If I hadn't said it before, by the way, you're a terrible mentor. Calling someone a terrible mentor because their mentee is fighting back so he can save his father's life. The spider that gave you your powers wasn't from your dimension! Miguel's gadgets can detect and predict canon events, but couldn't warn him about this huge spider in the wrong dimension anomaly? There's a world out there with no Spider-Man to protect them because it bit you instead! No. And this is Miles' fault. How exactly? Furthermore, if that's the case, does that mean if Miles wasn't bit, his father wouldn't become a captain and die? How does Miles change into Spider-Man have anything to do with how successfully his father moves up the corporate ladder? Also, if there are all these f***ing Spider-Men and women just hanging out here, aren't there an insane amount of worlds currently without a Spider-Man? How is that helpful? You talked about this? You knew? Yep, Gwen knew, Peter knew, Miguel knew, Jess knew, everyone knows! Which makes it so f***ing weird that despite everyone knowing that Miles will f*** things up, no one prevents him getting bit by the spider, no one stops Gwen visiting him, no one stops him saving Inspector Singh, and you couldn't keep him locked up for a few days. There have been so many opportunities to shut this kid down that maybe the multiverse wants him to succeed. He's only going invisible now? Why the f*** isn't he always invisible? At least for the escaping parts. Initializing go-home machine. Oh, no, no! Miles spent maybe a minute having the go-home machine explained to him by Gwen and Hobie earlier, and somehow that was enough to justify him being able to not only get the damn thing going, but also rig it in a way that means the experts who use it every day are unable to easily shut it down. Based on a relationship that spans literally seconds, Margot decides to say, f*** you, multiverse, and sends Miles on his way home. No! Miguel seems pretty pissed here, but can't his wristband thingy just take him to the dimension that Miles is in? I mean, he knows exactly where he's going to go, right? Okay, he ends up in the wrong dimension because of the spider that bit him, but Miguel doesn't know that. And even then, that means there are only two multiverses he could possibly be in. I told you, you let him get away, I can't help you. Yeah, but that was about Spot and not Miles. Furthermore, if Miguel needed Spot to get to full power and kill Captain Morales for the universes to stay in order, then why were they trying to stop Spot in the first place? There's no playbook for raising someone like her or being someone like you. You just gotta make the right adjustments at halftime. Thinking that halftime adjustments are a thing that actually happens. I listen to Peyton Manning. Maybe this movie should too. I have watched sports. <laughs> ah, okay, Jim. Unbelievable. Talking this loudly right next to a baby that you finally got to sleep. I don't even have kids, and I know the periods of time when they're unconscious or canon events that you don't disrupt. Lila, would you just send everyone out anywhere? Anywhere he might be. And yet it's only Jess that is sent to watch Miles' dad even though he is what this whole thing is about. Like there's a 99% chance Miles is going to end up near his dad eventually. So why not send 20 spider people to watch him until Miles turns up? I let him have it, Mom. I beat them all. You did not. You ran away like a little spider coward. Miles doesn't seem to notice that his room has been completely rearranged and every single item has been switched out. Oh no. He's in the wrong universe. Fortunately for the shocking twist, Earth-42 is largely similar to Miles' Earth, including the animation style. Meaning what we spend the last few minutes being tricked into thinking everyone is closing in on Miles instead of enjoying him being in the paint universe from Doctor Strange or utilizing his new sausage fingers. If you do find him, tell him five months and tell him we love him. If they are as loving of parents as they claim, I can't figure out why they're just going with the confusing shit some random kid told them about their son and not going with her to help find Miles. I guess it's also kind of fortunate that Jess, the one with the soft spot for Gwen, is the only f***ing spider person that spots her chasing after Miles. Don't tell mom. You are not bringing the baby with you. You are not bringing that- oh, You totally are, holy sh**. Not giving Spider Noir a single line of epically morbid cage-infused dialogue. Incomplete movies!
And now sometimes you make a copy of a copy. It's not quite as sharp as, well, the original. Well, that's kind of what happened. Everything's going to be okay. Jack, Jack, Jack. Do you know what he wants? Do you speak Italian? Uh, sometimes it just means uh, forget about it. I'm sorry, who exactly are you supposed to be? I'm Batman. Can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't go death. Did you order the cake for tonight? I said you so we select the cake first. Boop, boop. Miguel, it's Peter. We got an anomaly. Also, did that panel just make like a sexy beep? How did you get... My pants feel funny. Goodbye. Oh, disgusting. Whoa, whoa. This is merely superconductor electromagnetism. Surely you've heard of it.